Uh, Dr. Dexter Purnell is a multi-hyphenate, I guess, if you will. Uh, I consider myself to be, I guess, multi-vocational. Um, I'm an educator, so I'm a college professor. I also am a small business owner. I own a recording studio. I produce, I engineer. Uh, so uh, Dr. Dexter Purnell is, is multiple things. I, I guess my journey began when I was younger, uh, especially, I guess, if we start my musical journey. I started playing the drums at the age of five. Uh, that was the first instrument that I played. Still on my first set of drums, actually my first decent set of drums, still using it in my studio now. And I learned how to play the drums, And but you know, uh, it was crowded. So at the church, and like most churches, everybody wanted to play the drums. So I said, okay, well, what's next? So then I picked up guitar to learn how to play that a little bit. And you know, no one's checking for guitar players at the time. So I was like, okay, well, that instrument is whack. So what's next? And then picked up the bass, started playing the bass. Um, took some lessons along the way. A lot of things that I learned was self-taught, um, but a combination of both being um, taught via lessons, uh, classes in high school, and then just kind of, uh, like I say, teaching and learning things myself. So I've always had the interest in learning how to do new things. At the age of 15, I got my first four track uh, from one of my friends, good friends, and uh, that kind of led me onto the path of producing and engineering. And so I've been producing and engineering now for I'm going to give my age away here, so I won't talk about that. But it's been a long time that I've been messing around with it. And so uh, the great thing about that is, is uh, most of my engineering outside of what I learned on my own, I was self-taught. But once again, just always the knowledge to uh, to want to grow and be better as an engineer. And so just kept plugging away at it. And so learning in that aspect. Uh, at some point, I realized even with the music thing that I had kids and I was responsible for three kids. And I wanted to set a good example for them. And I knew that it was important for my kids to get college educations. And somewhere along the way, you know, I played college football, did some cool things, but dropped out to chase the music thing, but then realized, okay, well, cool. In order to be in the, you know, it's easy to tell people, hey, do as I say and not as I do, but I think sometimes we need to actually set an example for people because it makes it easier for them to want to follow in our footsteps. So I said, hey, let me go back to school, finish my education, so finish my bachelor's degree. Had no idea what I would do with that, but it was like, I just wanted to tell my kids, hey, finish school. So I did that. I didn't tell them about I was even going back to school, just kind of went back, did it, and said, hey, come to my graduation. And... I was that. Uh, along the way, one of my uh, undergrad professors told me that I should think about being a, becoming a professor one day. Uh, never thought that would be something I would do career-wise in my wildest dreams. But I finished up my bachelor's degree, decided to find a job as an adjunct, uh, began working as an adjunct. Went on to work on my master's degree because I was like, I'm thinking, well, I knocked out one degree. Let's knock out the second one, you know, because I'm in a mindset to knock out another one. Knocked that one out. Got a master's degree. Had no idea what I would do to either degree. Uh, applied for my first teaching job. I graduated in May and got my first full-time teaching job in July of the same year. And that just kind of has been my trajectory since. And then I realized I wanted to go further because I hated the teaching job I had at the time. <laughs> I knew it could be a little bit better. So I was like, I need more letters in order to, to get where I want to be. So I went and got more letters behind my name to go even further. And uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a journey. So, you know, uh, I'm still achieving things that I want to achieve, both as a musician, as an educator. Um, I've seen some success on the music side of things. I've had some success on the education side of things and higher, uh, higher education. And just blessed to be where I am in life right now. So truly blessed. The thing that keeps me going is the realization that we should be lifelong learners. Uh, and I believe that's a quote that uh, Albert Einstein had, that we should never cease to learn. And so there's always something new. There's always something to know. And I don't care whether that's as an educator or as an engineer, you never want to become stale in what it is that you're doing. So you always want to stay fresh, stay cutting edge. So and that's my why, you know. But more so than that, my vocations do not define me. They're a part of who I am, but they don't define me. And so I also find joy in doing them to, to bless others, you know, whether that's as an educator or as an engineer, because in those instances, even as an engineer or producer, I still get to speak life into people and the same as being educators. So it's bigger than just what I do and the money part of it. I see them as platforms to change lives. Gotcha. To me, being a king means being someone that's responsible, uh, someone that understands responsibilities not only in the home, but also in the world as well. Uh, kingship starts at home, obviously, so you know, take care of your home, take care of castle. 
But then like any true king, a king has subjects that he's responsible for. And so as a king, that means when I'm in the classroom, those are my subjects, I'm responsible to them. As a business owner, when my clients come in, those are my subjects, once again, I'm responsible to them. So making sure that I'm handling my business in all areas of my life and just not one. So, so being a king isn't about necessarily power because to me, power should come from the people that you serve. And if you serve them properly, they have no power, no problem giving you the power or respect that you deserve.